this video does not call for violence. Hello! Today you will learn how a thermal imager works. You will also find out whether it is possible to see a cockroach or a cold-blooded toad in a device that sees clots of heat. But first things first. Such a box fell into my hands, it contains a very useful item, which is equally useful for a young naturalist and a military man and hunter. This is an indispensable tool. As soon as I opened the main box, I was greeted by a package with some parts, a laser pointer and a handle. When I assembled all this, I got a very convenient holder. Frankly speaking, I had to make a small lining for the laser mount, since for some reason I could not fix it. Time to move on to the second black box, on which the company logo is visible, in three. And it contains, in my opinion, the smallest operating night vision device. This device is called Infray T2. The package contains documents, a cable for connecting to the phone, and the device itself, which is hidden in a convenient hard case. And you heard right, this is a mobile version of the night vision device. This brand has two mobile versions of devices, for Android and Apple phones. Just look at the size of this cube. Its dimensions are 26 by 26 millimeters, and it weighs only 20 grams. It has a resolution of 256 on 192, manual focus and operating temperature from minus 10 to plus 50 degrees. My version needs in drive 6 and above, and the connection itself goes to Type-C. Now we download the official application from Google Play, and the device starts working. There are a lot of different settings in the menu. There is an aiming grid, an object display modes, and even an object temperature scanner. In other words, everything you need for thermal imaging hunting. And this is what my finger looks like. And when I removed it, a thermal trace from my finger has visible on the table with the help of the device. It's just magic. And from the palm of your hand, the thermal trail looked much more interesting. Even the structure of the wallpaper was noticeable. As the hand warmed up, the surface of the wallpaper in different ways. In general, if you play with the head and code display modes, you can find a convenient one for you. For example, I like 2nd, 4th and 5th modes. And which ones did you like? Write in the comments. And finally, we will test the thermal imager on something alive. For example, I have such decorative reds that for goodies will become actors in any movie that you offer them. I think you already perfectly see that the thermal imager copes with its task. And even the places in the cage that the rats have heated with their bodies are clearly visible. Rats also have cold noses. Therefore, the nose of the thermal imager is not clearly visible. And on the contrary, the eyes have a temperature and therefore stand out more. Next, we have an experiment with hot and cold water. Hot water will be white orange in this mode, and cold water will be dark blue. I especially like the splashes of hot water and the mixing of cold and hot water into a whirlpool. I wonder if the fingers will be visible behind the glass in the thermal imager. It turns out that glasses have its own temperature, can mask the heat of a person behind it but only on condition that there is no contact with the glass. After all, the glass can heat up. Even now, this glass is noticeable, most likely only because it is at room temperature. Well, that touched the glass. It starts to glow more brightly, as the glass in those places has time to heat up. If everything is clear with glass, then what about the mirror? But with a mirror, it's the other way around. The mirror can reflect the thermal image into the thermal imager. I stood pointed the thermal imager in the mirror and saw my thermal reflection. 
While I'm doing the next experiment with file, I'll tell you how the thermal imager works. All objects emit infrared energy, known as a heat signature. Infrared camera, also known as a thermal major, detects and measures the infrared radiation of the objects. The camera converts infrared data into an electronic image that shows the apparent surface temperature of the object being measured. The optical system included in the thermal imager focuses infrared radiation on a special detector chip, Matrix, which consists of thousands of pixels arranged in a grid. Each pixel of the matrix reacts to infrared radiation focused on it and generates an electronic signal. The processor of the thermal imager receives a signal from each pixel and, based on a mathematical calculation, creates a color map of the parent temperature of the object. Each temperature value is assigned a color. The resulting color matrix is transferred to the memory and displayed on the screen of the thermal imager as a thermal image of the object. I decided to check if I have heat loss in my apartment and try to find cold spots. Look, it is very clearly visible that the window itself has cold areas. Next, I decided to see what cockroaches look like under thermal imager. After all, cockroaches are in a room with room temperature which means they can be seen. If a large heat source such a nest is not obvious, sensitive thermal cameras can detect small heat fluxes, moisture, and other signs of damage that indicate the presence of insects. For example, the lack of insulation or holes in the walls, which are entry points for insects. From this, we conclude that the thermal imager can see cockroaches. Next, I decided to look at the spider through a thermal imager, but I didn't see anything particularly interesting. I also have a large lizard, which is called the beaded agama. I was just warming itself under the rays of an infrared lamp and was warm to the touch. Since the lizard had a special temperature, the thermal imager showed it in a special color. And if you look closely, the tail of the lizard was the coldest of all. I also have such a honed toad. And this toad looked very funny through a thermal imager, because it had an unusual color. I decided to look at it in different modes of the thermal imager, and I really liked such observations.